My name is Professor Richard Corsi. I'm uh, in the Department of Civil, Architectural, and Environmental Engineering at the University of Texas at Austin. I study bad things in the air. I've always had this concern about the environment ever since I was a small child. My science projects were all related to pollution in the environment. Uh, when I was 18 years old, I filed to run for mayor of the city of Torrance, California. And I filed paperwork with the city clerk on my birthday so I could be the youngest person ever to run for elected office in California. I went to school to become an air pollution engineer. Originally, I was entirely focused on outdoor air pollution, particularly chemical emissions from municipal wastewater sewage to the outdoor atmosphere. There just weren't many people doing research on indoor air quality. As I learned more about the field, I just became increasingly interested in all the things that happen around us inside of our homes and schools and offices and how none of them had been studied. And then the knowledge of how much time we as Americans spend indoors, I think is what really kicked me over the, over the edge and I said, I'm gonna de devote the rest of my career to this. The average American lives to be 79 years old. We spend 70 of those 79 years domiciled inside of buildings and 50 of those 79 years inside of our own homes. So most of the air pollution that we breathe during our lifetimes, even pollution of outdoor origin, we breathe inside of our homes. Those of us who've worked in this field for decades, in my case about 25 years, have tried our best to study chemistry of the indoor environment. And I think with the limited resources we've had, we've turned over a lot of stones and found some interesting things, but we've just been able to barely scratch the surface in some areas. We just haven't had the resources, either the money or the instrumentation, and those two things are obviously uh, connected to one another to dig deeper into some of the phenomena we've seen. We've seen a lot of things, we've seen a lot of interesting things, but we haven't tr been able to figure out mechanistically why they're happening. We want to figure those things out because they seem like they're very important from the perspective of exposure of children to, to harmful air pollutants or those that have respiratory diseases, that type of thing. The Alfred P. Sloan Foundation with the Chemistry of the Indoor Environments Program has really excited all of us that have worked in the field for decades by bringing in those that have been working in, in outdoor air pollution issues that have the big guns, if you will, that they, they have the instruments, the, the weapons to really dig deep and bore into some of those things that we've been studying for decades but have never been quite able to figure out. My hope for home chem, my hope is that we get to a point where all of the knowledge we're learning about chemistry of indoor environments can lead to the design of better, healthier buildings.